we're moving on to Ryan there, Chase. Now, lads, you're going to have to do a bit of work here now, lads, right? Mikey Fogarty, David Mullins. I'm going to put you on the spot here now, right? Now, Mikey, concentrate, right? Mikey, you're right now, right? Concentrate, right? I want the two of you to answer this question honestly, okay? Alaho, Min, Mellon, okay? It looks like the three of them are going to run, right? I want David Mullins and Mikey Fogarty to tell me who is going to ride those three horses, okay? So, Mikey, you're going to go first. Who rides Alaho? Who rides Min? And who rides Mellon? In your opinion, obviously we don't know the answer, but in your opinion, who will ride those three horses? Um, That's Paul, a tricky one there. You didn't want that one thrown at you, I'd say. No, I don't mind. Um, yeah. I think Paul Town will ride Min. Toss up between Rachel, maybe, or Cooper for Alaho, and Danny Mullins will ride Mellon. Yeah. Right. Right. Hmm. Okay, David? I'd agree with that, yeah. So you think Paul Towner will ride Min and not Alaho? <sighs> to be honest, Min, Min's done it. The other two have to prove to me that they can. Okay, okay. And I imagine Paul Towner will think that. They're not odds on. They're not very short. Yeah. Uh, I think he'll be in two minds and he'll pick the one that it's been that's done it for him. Okay, so both of you think Paul will ride Min, Danny will ride Mellon, and then you think it's between... Your, the fella there sitting beside you for uh, for uh, Alaho and Rachel Blackmore. No, he's downstairs. Oh, he's down. No, I mean he's beside Mikey. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> don't give the game away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, of those three, David, if you had the choice and you commit a retirement, which could happen sometime, who, which one would you ride? Well, I don't know. Um... <laughs> hey, Cooper's beside me, man. The best leper. <laughs> That's how I rode some of the winners for Jiggenstone back in the day. <laughs> well, I think uh, the best jumper is definitely Mellon. Oh, he's. Oh. Would you have said that definitely? Yeah. Oh, Mellon is. Mellon is that performance in last year's Mars Chase is the best jumping performance I think I've ever seen around Cheltenham. Yeah, um, I actually probably would go for Mellon, I think, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Mikey? Alaho. Oof. Mm. Alaho, who's currently 5-1 to one favourite. Right, that's the Willie Mullins camp. I think I'm more confused now than I was when I asked the mm. question, but we, two votes for, for Paul to ride Min. That's interesting. Uh, Dermot, have you found the winner of the Ryanair Chase? Uh, yeah, maybe, but um, I'm a big fan of Mellon. Uh, I know Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. He just seems to always bump into one, but they've figured out how to ride him now. Like That was a serious performance last year. It's just so unlucky against uh, Sam Crow. That, that jumped you out and was just kind of maybe what cost Mellon in the end. Um, that run of Christmas was brilliant. I, I thought he sulked behind Kenboy when he just wasn't allowed to go off in front. I think those, uh, those tactics weren't weren't correcting him. Um, at Cheltenham, back over two and a half miles, we know he stays a little bit further than that too. We know he likes the course because obviously he ran it last year. Um, I think he takes an awful lot of stopping here, an awful lot. Um, I know Alaho, I've never really rated Alaho my whole, his whole career. Um, I think he's tripless. I think Alaho is, he's stuck somewhere between two and a half miles and three miles. I, I don't think he's fully, we know yet. I love being back to him last year. But just that last run, I know he's old enough, he'd more than likely get over, but that just leaves a nagging doubt in my head. St. Calvados and Imperial Aura, they're both coming in and into this off falls, and I'm not sure about their form. I mean, Imperial Aura beat Itchy Feet last time. He was beaten in the in the Rendlesham. Um, so I just think Mellon is very solid. And as far as going from the front, has worked well in this race before with Matt Fuel and kind of horses like that, or Matt Fuel, however you say her name again. But um, I think... It will take a lot of... I think Mellon is angling up to be quite a decent bet here and I think he really deserves to get that festival win, really, doesn't he? Okay, so it's Mellon for Dermot Nolan. Dean Ryan? Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't put anyone off Mellon. It's going to run a big race for sure. Um, I, I like I like the English chances with Kim Bailey's horse, Imperial Aura. I just thought he was so, so good beating Galvin last year. In fact, he idles towards the line and we all know what Galvin's gone and done since. The form this season, I think, is good. It's unfortunate, obviously, he took an unseat... Um, in the run-up to the festival because you'd like to come with, with finishing a race. I think if he had to finish that, it'd be shorter. Um, 30 to 2 would, 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 would do me with Imperial Aura. I think there's plenty of upside. And the rest of them, they've, they've kind of been there and not quite done it. So 
Imperial Aura, I think, will take a good step forward. And there uh, might be one of the races the English win. They won't win too many, but I think they'll nick this one. Well, you know what, Dean? I think they'll win it as well. But you know what I think they'll win it with? Which? Mr. Fisher. Mm-hmm. Classic. Mr. Mr. Fisher is obviously uh, one of my many cliff horses in training, but I, I've thought for the last three years that Mr. Fisher is an absolute... He, in time, when he fills out into his frame, when he grows up, when he becomes a man, I said, this horse is a Ryanair winner. And Nicky has won the Ryanair so many times with, you know, Fawn Moore, he's won it with Riverside Theatre. And I just think, Mr. Fisher, if you watched the Mars last year, I thought he was the one that I watched the race and I said, this time next year, he could be the best of these. He could be better than Melanie, he could be better than Sam Crow, he could be better than Faheen. And he gave three pounds to Kalashnikov in the Peterborough Chase. He got into a good rhythm, he jumped better, good ground is going to suit him. He's only eight to one now, the value is gone, but I genuinely think Mr. Fisher has got a super chance. John, what do you like in the Ryanair? I think this is a hell of a race. I mean, it's so competitive. All, all, all the, everything, you can make cases for lots of, like Melon. Mellon's finished second in four Cheltenham festivals. He's finished second in two champion hurdles and a Supreme Novices and then last year. So as Jared said, if there's a horse in the race that deserves a Cheltenham Festival win, it's him. And Min got his last year after finishing, I think he was second in two, at two Cheltenham Festivals. And yeah, like ridden aggressively over two and a half miles, that's, that's his thing, isn't it? Because ridden aggressively over three miles, two runs ago, he just didn't get home, and he ran, but he still ran a hell of a race. Ridden conservatively last time over three miles, it didn't work. So drop him in trip and kick him on. And I think the same goes for Alaho. I, I do think two and a half is, is his distance. I know that he won over three miles over hurdles. He beat Minel Endo at Clanmel, and I think it was a grade three. But again, he didn't get home in the, the, the Savills chase at Leopardstown over Christmas. Back over two and a half in the King Lock Bray chase last time. And again, ridden aggressively, he beat Ellie May, who then enhanced the form since, albeit, you know, she was expected to win and she should have been winning like she did, but she was good in winning. So I think Alaho saw it as well. Um, I can see the case from, like Imperial Aura, he was the, the fashionable horse at the start of the season. And then because, you know, I, maybe, I don't know why, just because he unseated last time early on against Master Tommy Tucker, Suddenly he's gone out of favour or he's gone a wee bit off the radar, but he's a player as well. And I, I know David, you're sweet and Mr. Fisher and have been for a while. But I actually like Fakir Duderis. I think he's he was a big price earlier in the season. He finished second in an arc. He won the Drinmore Chase last year, albeit he was a he was a, or two seasons ago, he, he was a, 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 a last year a four or five year old then. He was getting weight in the early part of the year and then he wasn't he wasn't getting it later on. Um, but I thought his run in the Arkle last year was a very good run. I, I think, in general, the Arkle form from last season has been underplayed a little bit. And this season, he was beaten by Notebook on his first run back. Then, in the Savills chase, he, he's got a pee in front of him. He was pulled up, but he actually ran very well for a long way that day. And he travelled up, up through the field with Apu Tar, and then his stamina ran out, whereas Apu Tar's stamina kicked in. And then last time, over two miles, or two miles in a furlong, he just shaped as if he would... He would improve for stepping back up and trip and I think Joseph O'Brien has been saying for a while that two and a half miles was his trip definitely when he was running over two miles he was wanting to step him up and trip and he didn't get three miles two runs ago so two and a half is was, is probably his trip and back at Cheltenham he ran so well in the Arca last year and he's run well over hurdles there as well in the past and um, yeah I, I think I think he's a bit a bit under the radar there's not much talk about him and I, I don't think it's been fully confirmed that this is his, his target but it's a, it's a logical target for him. I'd be, I'd, you know, I'd be surprised if he didn't run here. And yeah, he's he's the one for me at the prices. You know what price he is, Dan? What price do you say he is now? It's probably about 10 to 1, is he? He's only 8 to 1 best price. Yeah, really? There you go. I'd say you've got bigger, have you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Fair enough. I won't ask you to reveal. Okay, that's it. Well, you know, you take a few. I've got plenty of big prices about horses that have no chance or aren't running, David. That's the yeah, yeah. It evens, it, it evens itself out, doesn't it? It does even itself out, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that is the Ryanair Chase, which is the second grade one on the Thursday. And 